Today, we're reviewing three of the hybrid models offered by Nectar. The Nectar Hybrid, Hybrid Premier, and Hybrid Premier Copper. Let's explore the differences, benefits, and drawbacks of each Nectar Hybrid mattress. Looking at the overall scores for each model, they range from a 9.13 to 9.59 across all of our performance categories. The Nectar Hybrid scored the lowest at a 9.13 due to pretty large hits in motion transfer and response. However, it had great cooling, edge support, sex, and off-gassing. The Nectar Hybrid Premier scored a good deal better at a 9.45. While this model doesn't have the issue with response, it has an even worse motion transfer score. The highest scoring model was the Nectar Hybrid Premier Copper at a 9.59. This is an excellent score. Its motion transfer levels were still a bit high, but from a performance perspective, it's as good or better than the other models in nearly every category, with a slight difference in edge support being the only exception. At the end of the day, 9.13 is an okay score, 9.45 is a good score, and 9.59 is great. The firmness level is pretty similar among all three Nectar hybrids, medium firm. The hybrid Premier is just a touch softer at a 6 out of 10 compared to the original hybrid and Premier Copper, which are both rated at a 6.5 out of 10. Overall, this firmness would be considered suitable for a wide range of sleepers and sleeping positions. Next, we're going to talk through what the different Nectar hybrids do best. First up, the Nectar Original Hybrid has fantastic edge support, especially for sitting. Next, it has great value given its performance and price being under $1,000 for a queen. Finally, it also has excellent cooling performance. The Nectar Hybrid Premier response time was extremely fast, bounce was more than average, and its feel will appeal to many sleepers. Last, the Nectar Hybrid Premier Copper also has a great bounce, though not as high as the Hybrid Premier. However, the Hybrid Premier Copper does take the win for thickest comfort layer among these models. Despite the increased comfort layer, it still had fantastic cooling performance on par with the other models. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. For the most part, all of these Nectar hybrids offer excellent support, regardless of sleeper weight and sleeping position. For lighter weight sleepers, especially those who sleep on their side or stomach, you may want something a little softer than the hybrids reviewed here. A firmness of 6 to 6.5 may provide just a little too much pushback and could ultimately lead to pressure relief issues. Likewise, heavier sleepers over 300 pounds could also benefit from a firmer mattress. A medium firm mattress may be sufficient, but the extra firmness helps prevent sleepers from sinking too deeply into the mattress. With that said, for the vast majority of sleepers, the firmness level on the Nectar hybrids is a good middle ground that's appropriate to many body types and sleeping positions. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com mattress quiz. There, you can submit your needs and preferences, and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're going to move on to comparing the models in our individual performance tests. At Nap Lab, we test each mattress by analyzing it according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our test showed how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. The cooling performances on all three Nectar hybrids were fantastic. Each mattress scored a 9.5 in this category. Although the exact degree data may vary, max temps never reached over 90 degrees Fahrenheit and ending temp was within 4 degrees of the baseline temp. All good signs of strong cooling performance. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12-pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. The sinkage levels of the Nectar hybrids varies depending on which style you go with. 
The Hybrid Premier has the most sinkage at 2.35 inches, and the Nectar Hybrid has the least sinkage at 1.70 inches. The Premier Copper falls in the middle between these two at 1.99 inches. The average level of sinkage across all mattresses we've tested to date is 2.20 inches. This puts the Nectar Hybrid and Nectar Hybrid Premier Copper at less sinkage than average, and the Hybrid Premier at slightly more sinkage than average. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. Motion transfer is a bit of a problem for all of the Nectar hybrids. The average amount of motion transfer is 7.82 meters per second squared based on all of our mattress tests to date. Every single one of the Nectar hybrids is at least double that, with the Premier Copper being a touch better than the other two. For a Nectar with less motion transfer, you may want to opt for one of their all-foam options like the Nectar Original, Premier, or Premier Copper. All three of these all-foam Nectars have less motion transfer than average. If we look at the motion transfer charts that visualize our accelerometer data, we see a very similar motion journey for the original hybrid and hybrid Premier. We see a lot of motion at the front end, which continues in a pretty significant energy dip at 0.64 second. Motion transfer continues until beyond a full second. For the hybrid Premier Copper, I was glad to see the energy dissipate quicker than the other mattresses, but still not an excellent performance here. There's a relatively large motion spike initially, followed by a smaller spike with a near zero levels achieved around 0.77 seconds. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. On screen now, we can see when each mattress mostly and completely recovers. The response time on Nectar Hyper Premier and Premier Copper was significantly faster than the response time on the original hybrid. The average response time across all mattresses that we've tested to date is 0.5 seconds to be mostly recovered and 0.9 seconds to be fully recovered. Following this data, we can see that the Hyper Premier and Hyper Premier Copper are both significantly faster than the average. However, the Nectar Hybrid is much slower than the average. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preference factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The level of bounce on these hybrids varies between moderate to very high. The average amount of bounce across all mattresses tested to date is 9.35 inches. The Nectar Hybrid and Hybrid Premier Copper are both slightly below that, having less bounce than average. The Nectar Hybrid Premier has more bounce than that, almost 4 inches more bounce than average. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The edge support for these three Nectar hybrids was pretty good. The average level of sinkage when sitting right at the edge of the mattress is 4.32 inches. All of these mattresses had less edge sinkage than the average. One quick note, this is the average across the board between all mattress types. All foam mattresses oftentimes have worse edge support compared to a hybrid. The coil base can help reinforce supportive edges on hybrids. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce, more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce and better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. So when we're thinking about sex on each of the Nectar hybrids, which one's best? Really, any of these Nectars will yield a good performance. They all have moderate to high bounce, good edge support, minimal noise, good pressure relief, and excellent cooling. Our pressure relief tests the measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. 
mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. Pressure relief is good for all three of these nectars. Each mattress offers 9 inches of support and between 3 to 5 inches of comfort material. In most cases, more comfort material will provide better pressure relief since it better separates the sleepers from the support layer. Heavier sleepers or those who sleep on their side generally appreciate these thicker comfort layers. The High Roof Mirror Copper has a 5 inch comfort layer, which is the thickest in this comparison. The Nectar High Roof Mirror Original has a 3 inch comfort layer, which is the thinnest, but still very comfortable. If you're a lighter sleeper, you may be able to get by with less thickness here and take the advantage of the cost savings without giving up too much in terms of performance. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with a less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing for the Nectar hybrids takes anywhere from 2 to 4 days. Out of the box, the Nectar Hybrid and Hybrid Mirror had the strongest smell. The Hybrid Original took 3 days and the Hybrid Mirror took 4 days to fully off-gas. In comparison, the Nectar Hybrid Mirror Copper had only a moderate smell and took 2 days to off-gas. If you're especially sensitive to strong smells, the Mirror Copper may be the better choice here. Overall, Nectar is an excellent company and has positive terms and policies that are consumer friendly. They offer a 365 night trial period where you can test out the mattress. If you decide at any point within that trial window that the Nectar isn't right for you, you can return it for a full refund. If you decide to keep the mattress, it is backed by a lifetime warranty. So, which Nectar Hybrid is best? Based on our battery of tests and performance scores, the Nectar Hybrid Mirror Copper is the clear best choice among the family of Nectar Hybrid mattresses. That said, let's talk through the pros and cons of the different options. I would recommend the Nectar Hybrid if you're looking for a good value. If you're on a budget and want the best bang for your buck, go with the original. It also has the least amount of sinkage, which I'd recommend to those who don't want to sink too deeply into a mattress. Finally, it has a more classic memory foam feel compared to the more modern memory foam type that you find with the other two Nectar hybrids. I would recommend the Nectar Hybrid Premier if you're looking for deeper sinkage. The Hybrid Premier has the deepest sinkage among all the Nectar hybrids. It also has the highest levels of bounce, which gives it a more traditional feel and makes it easier to move around on. Finally, the Hybrid Mirror has very fast response time. While much faster than the original Hybrid, it is tied with the Hybrid Mirror Copper in this category. I would recommend the Nectar Hybrid Mirror Copper if you're looking for low motion transfer. If you're easily disturbed during the night or sleep with an active partner, the Mirror Copper offers the lowest levels of motion transfer among all Nectar Hybrids. Next, its design makes it excellent for cooling. The copper infused cover, gel memory foam, and pocketed coils all help to enhance cooling performance. Finally, at 5 inches of comfort material, the Hybrid Premier Copper has the thickest comfort layer. This is fantastic for pressure relief, especially relevant to side sleepers or heavier sleepers. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope it's helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of the Nectar Hybrid mattresses, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit our NapLab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.